Welcome to this episode of YouTube where we're dealing with summer heat and a whole lot more. We have a circumstance with Luna, uh, if you recall the way back in March. We had a surgery to remove a mass that had appeared on her neck and we thought everything was going well. It seemed like things were healing okay and then uh, earlier in uh, this month we started to see a recurring issue with this mass and so uh, in consultation with the veterinarians um, it was decided to try a course of antibiotics and see if it might have been some kind of a infection. Summer times can happen with bite wounds or sticks or things that might have caused a little bit of an infection and so a week of antibiotics did not result in the reduction of the growth on her neck that we had hoped and so on the 17th of July we took her in to the clinic and uh, they discovered that this was a much more significant issue and uh, several masses that were deep uh, they were embedded in the muscle there was a lot of necrotic tissue where the mass had started to kind of die internally um, and that what caused a little bit of that pressure that we were seeing on the outside edge of her of her hide and uh, because these wolves still had a lot of hair on again it was a little bit challenging to be able to really get a sense of what was going on until she went to the clinic so after the surgery um, and a biopsy was taken and we'll be waiting another week for a biopsy to determine what the circumstances are about this cause of this mass and, and what our next course of actions will be. We brought her back to the Wolf Care Center, um, kept her comfortable, even though the temperatures outside were relatively warm. The concrete floor is fairly cold for an animal coming out of surgery, so we had fleece blankets and um, you know kept someone with her pretty much throughout the first uh, 24 hours after her surgery. And uh, um, we'll know more, hopefully, within the next week to be able to identify what was going on. <clears throat> so in the meantime, we wanted to separate out Aiden and Grizzer so that <clears throat> there wasn't any stress to Luna, uh, again, while she was on the antibiotic treatment and then obviously subsequent surgery, um, she'll be separated out. <clears throat> Aiden and Grizzer are getting along actually quite well. They don't care much for the heat, and we've been watering down the enclosures, trying to keep them relatively cool. Uh, a fresh layer of wood chips also does help with insect uh, repellency. Uh, so spraying a little cedar oil on the wood chips kind of helps keeps the insects at bay. Uh, but uh, So they're sharing the front pack holding area and the back habitat while Luna has a whole east side to herself. Uh, we felt it was better for Luna to be on the farthest side of the wolf yard from the standpoint of less distractions, less uh, coming and going uh, from the wolf care staff and people in the yard. Uh, she was able to rest a little bit better over there. Uh, we do have surveillance cameras over there, so we're able to monitor her on a regular basis and, uh, and certainly give her the rest that she needs to try to be able to deal with this. So over, like I said, over here, um, you, we <clears throat> are seeing Aiden having a fairly good summer. We were able to brush him and get most of the shed hair out, so he's got quite a bit of, uh, you know, ability to cool himself. We also put him on a diet after his surgery in February, where he had some mast cells removed. We had decided that uh, he was going to need to lose a little bit of weight, and so he's been um, doing quite well, and he actually looks in really good shape right now. Unfortunately, his mast cells are returning. Uh, we are monitoring them and our biggest probably parameter that we're going to use for his next course of action is going to be how they're irritating they are to him. If you recall from um, YouTubes that we did early on in the year, if he was licking at them, we knew they were really, really irritating to him. So that's one thing that we're kind of watching for. So far, he's shown no signs of irritation to him. Um, Grizzer is doing great. Uh, you can see here his ability to dig a hole. He's trying to find a place to cool himself off. This is not normal northern Minnesota weather. We've had temperatures in the 80s with heat index in the 90s, uh, very, very high humidities, and uh, this is not an easy task for wolves who are 
immersed in hair, covered in hair, and not sweat glands. So the only thing they can do is to try to pant to evaporate heat off their tongue. And if anyone who's been in a northern Minnesota or any climate with humidity, you know that you can't evaporate anything when there's high humidity. So he's going to try to find a place adjacent to the main pack where the mister system is located. And uh, uh, again, couldn't find a comfortable place there. He's going to do the next best thing, which is dig down a mineral soil uh, a few inches and see if he can get some of that cooler soil. As I said, we've been wetting it down on a regular basis for urine concentration. That's a real issue in the smaller confined areas, uh, but also uh, to keep the soil cool so he can do just that um, and find himself a, a place to rest. So that's what's going on in retirement. So it's been an extremely busy. Um, Grizzer is actually doing quite well. He's 120 pounds, uh, which is a great uh, weight for him in the summer. Usually he's kind of lost a little bit of weight in the spring, but he's doing extremely well. Over in the exhibit pack, again, same kind of thing. We have a sand pile that tries to keep the wolves uh, cool. The younger wolves have less issues with the heat than the older wolves do. Uh, we uh, do wet it down. We uh, also see these young ones going in and out of the pond um, on a regular basis. So uh, this is Grayson. Still not finished his shedding and, and bolts as well. Had a little bit of hair shed there. Bolts unfortunately has a little bit of his fly phobia back. We've been dealing with that in the last probably three weeks. Uh, if you recall, he's had some issues with bugs. Uh, he decides to retreat into the area of the den to get away from the bugs, get away from the heat, get away from the humidity, which are all kind of a, a trio that um, goes together. Hot heat, humidity, and bugs are all typically the pattern. So that's created a little scenario where the other ones see him as weak when he goes and hides. So we've been trying to work with him, trying to get him to deal with it. Uh, again, we tried some bacon bubbles. We haven't had a chance for him to come out to do a lot of a, a positive conditioning. So we've been opening up the medical pen, which is in the front of the exhibit, and the medical pen um, is kind of right by the mister system. And so we've been wetting down the medical pen. It's concrete. It should not have a lot of bugs in it because, again, it doesn't have the vegetation. The misting system uh, mists right in front of it, and we're trying to get bolts to come back and forth with that. So this is what the Working for Wolves crew has been working on for a couple of years, is trying to get a really good misting system so that we can cool these wolves off on these hot days. Now, they don't always hang out in the misters, under the misters, so we do need to provide some treats, and this is venison cakes uh, that are being thrown from the open window. But you can see here Grayson lifting up his face and getting that mist on his face, and it does give him a nice, cool... Uh, place to lie down. The vegetation is obviously very thick, which is somewhat problematic because when you have thick vegetation, you have more bugs. But uh, again, that's kind of a trade-off in northern Minnesota. We have a lot of winter, so we can put up with a few things in the summer, including insects. So I'm going to leave you with some howling. Grayson's been leading the pack with some lone howls, and then the pack has been rallying. So thanks for watching.